Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. If you're watching this on repeat, that's totally cool with me. My name is Whitney Nicely, and I am the managing broker for Whitney Buys Houses and Nicely Done Auctions in Tennessee and Georgia. Um, and if y'all will remember, a couple of months ago, remember back in October before I got married, we had a house that we were doing a lease option on, and we had three candidates. Remember, we had three um, applications in. We had A, B, and C. A was they didn't have any money. They weren't going to be able to get a mortgage. B had some money, but they were going to be like four or five years before they could get a mortgage. And then C had some money. He could make the payments, and he was going to be mortgage ready next year. Remember? So we all went with C. Y'all remember this? So, C was our guy. We took him. We put him in the house. He put half of his down payment in and did not make his first month's rent. I was like, okay, we'll, we'll see how this goes. So, November didn't make his payment. December came. Didn't make that payment either. So, our guy, C, is a big goose egg. He put enough money down to cover my payment for November and December, but he has not put any more money into the kitty since he moved in in October. So I'm even on the money, except, you know, two days we're going to be in January, and I don't have a payment to cover that. So I am coming out of pocket on January's payment, and I am the Grinch who stole Christmas because I sent him an eviction letter on the 21st. So evictions are not the end of the world. We all agreed. I put it before the board. I gave you as much information as I could. We thought we were going with our right guy, and he hasn't made the payment. So you, don't, you can't tell. If you go with the right guy, that's great. But if you don't, then you still got to do something with him. So evictions are not the end of the world. How I handle evictions. If you do not pay me, I call my attorney and I say, Hey, I need an eviction letter. And he says, Hey, I'll have it to you this afternoon. I say, Thanks. He says, Thanks. He sends me the eviction letter. I put some dates on it. I sign it. I take it to the United States Postal Service, the USPS, the uh, mail guys in the little Jeeps, the little white cars that come around, put your mail in the box. And I send a certified letter to the tenant that says, you got to go. And that is why I do lease options. I give the tenant a fancy lease with the option to buy. My attorney writes up the lease option so that when I say, hey, I need an eviction letter, he just pulls up the file. He's got everything he needs. He makes little attorney magic sends it to me and I put it in the mail certified mail because when you go to eviction court you need that little green sticker to come back that says yes he got it yes I served him yes I did everything I could so eviction letters are key attorneys are key evictions are not the end of the world it did not bother me that I had to send this guy an eviction letter and just because I was the Grinch at Christmas, if it had been March and I sent him an eviction letter on the 21st, nobody would have thought anything else about it. So if it will hurt your feelings to send somebody an eviction letter right before Christmas, hire a property manager. You literally pay property managers not to have feelings and to do evictions for you and to make sure that your money comes in the way it is supposed to come in. So if you are too easy and too gentle on tenants, Hire a property manager. They pay for themselves. Okay? And property managers, attorneys, accountants, they're all in that little box that you get to check on the IRS that says professional fee. You got to spend your money on something. So pay somebody to help you run your business so that you can start finding somebody else that will actually pay you. Um, I had the other two people that wanted the house, you remember? I've already contacted them and told them that the house will be available probably the 1st of February. I hope and pray it will be back on the market the 1st of February. And if those people are still interested, they're still wanting it, they can have first dibs on it because I already had them in my system. 
So, evictions are not the end of the world. That a lot of times just means that somebody else bigger and better is going to come along. When one door shuts, another one opens, right? And it's usually the second one that's going to be better for you anyway. So do not be afraid of evictions. Evictions are a part of real estate, and you just got to, you know, go with it. You got to have a plan in place and know what you're going to do when somebody doesn't pay you. Anybody have any questions? What's going to happen if the house is tore up? I can either go in and fix it. Or I can pay somebody to go in and fix it. Or I can tell whoever wants it that they can put, you know, less down and fix it themselves. More than likely, it's not going to be more than just trash. They'll probably just leave a bunch of trash in it and I'll just rent a dumpster and have somebody go over there and throw all the trash away. Uh, you can... When you go through landlord-tenant court, you can sue the person uh, for any damages done to the property while they had it. But most likely, if they weren't paying rent, then they don't have any money and you can't get blood out of a turnip, right? So I do not suggest it. I just write it off as the cost of doing business and rock and roll with it. Move on, find somebody else, deal with something else. There's plenty else to deal with than worrying and fretting and staying up all night about what if they, you know, paint. Or what if they, I mean, what can they do? They can tear down a wall, we'll put it back up. Don't even worry about it, okay? So evictions are part of life in real estate, and if it's going to hurt your feelings to evict somebody, hire a property manager from the beginning. Or just realize that it's part of doing business. My guy, I could probably call him and say, hey, I sent you an eviction letter. He's going to say, yeah, I know I didn't pay any rent. People know if they don't pay, they can't stay. So don't let it hurt your feelings. Um, I do want to let y'all know that I'm doing a webinar tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. And it is how to make money with a real estate license. Um, on this past Monday, I did one, how to make money without a real estate license, which was my favorite topic. But some people are like me and they need a real estate license. They need to go to real estate school. They need to have that knowledge. They need to have that plaque on the wall. And I am that person. So I know there's other people out there like me. I know I can make money without a real estate license, but I love having my real estate license. It's just another check mark. It's something else on my resume. It's, you know, whatever else I need. I have it. It's there. So tomorrow I am doing a webinar. Thanks, Corey. Um, on how to make money with a real estate license, why you should have a real estate license, especially if you want one. If you have that burning desire in your heart to get a real estate license, who am I to tell you that you can make more money without it? Go get it. I have it. I make more money without it than I do with it, but I need it. I love it. So that's what we're talking about tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. If you want to sign up, it's WhitneyNicely.com. Whitney, like Houston, nicely, like the adverb, nicely done, dot com. Uh, and sign up. I think it's the landing page right now to sign up for tomorrow's webinar. Or you can do a bit.ly, get a license with a capital L. So if you have any questions, send them to me, info at WhitneyNicely, dot com. And I hope to see you tomorrow morning. I um, will be there bright and early. And let me know if you have any questions about evictions, but just roll with it. Evictions are part of life. They are not the end of the world. I hope you all have a good day. I hope it is sunny where you are because it is nasty and rainy here in Georgia. But that's okay. We can deal with that too. Bye y'all. Have a good day.